The DTLA 2040 plan should ensure we do not repeat the lessons of urban renewal, which demolished low income and multifamily housing and multiracial neighborhoods and dismantled public investment in both. Los Angeles, you have to stop gentrifying low income communities. You talk about homelessness, you put your fair skin on, and you walk in and you go, I don't understand why people are homeless, but yet Gower Gulch Rite Aid is being torn down. Right next to us, there's an artist colony that's living down here on Skid Row that says they give out their past food to people. That's not enough. You don't move into a neighborhood that's been redlined and then push people out. Stop gentrifying Skid Row. If you don't know this was a redlined neighborhood, you need to research Skid Row. Stop gentrifying Skid Row. We don't want you here. You don't belong here. Stop gentrifying our community. Awesome. Also, your name and your affiliation with Skid Row. Scotty Clapson. I've been a resident of Skid Row since 2021, and I've been chronically unhoused since 2008 because of being pushed out of the neighborhood that I colluded to gentrify with adjacent to Koreatown in 2000. We need to realize as people who of European descent, we can move freely about this city, but you don't get to move freely into neighborhoods and displace people who are immigrants, people who don't look like you, people who don't have the same culture as you. I'm Scotty Appleseed, I'm a podcaster and I'm an advocate. We have to stop gentrifying this city. It's not fair, it's not fair to just push people out because we don't want to look at poverty or we don't want to look at low-income people because we want to build a high-rise that was only half full that nobody from this city can afford. Thanks for listening. Stop gentrifying Skid Row. Thank you. Awesome. Very